Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we have a new perfume to review and it is the latest one from Tiffany in their Tiffany & Co perfume range, Tiffany & Co Rose Gold. So I'm gonna be letting you know what this smells like, my first impressions, and how it compares to the other um, three that they've released in their range. If you're new here, then welcome. We are all about perfumes, so do check out my hundreds of other videos. And if you're a regular but you haven't subscribed yet, then do hit that subscribe button and show your support. And you can support me by signing up to my newsletter, link in the description, where I'll also put the link to my website and also where you can buy this new perfume in UK, Europe, North America. And I will try and do Australia as well. Cool, so Tiffany perfumes are an interesting one. So many moons ago, they did have perfumes which were very strong, very classic floral scents, and they were all discontinued. And then a few years ago, Tiffany perfumes were sort of relaunched. And since then they've had now four in this Tiffany & Co range. And then they also had uh, Tiffany and Love as well. Now, if you are regular here, you might remember um, when I did like review and try both the original Tiffany and Co that they brought out and the new Tiffany and Love. Personally, I found both of them to be quite underwhelming. Um, I think obviously Tiffany is a luxury brand. The price tag is quite high. But then the perfumes were very light and to me a bit generic and boring. So I was intrigued to see what this new rose gold one was gonna smell like. Um, I definitely love the bottle. I mean, it, you know, it's obviously got the Tiffany turquoise. It's very crystally. It kind of reminds me of a taller version of the Elie Saab Le Parfum bottles. And then you've got this rose gold back here, which really, you know, I definitely prefer this to the transparent bottles of the original Tiffany & Co ones. And interestingly, on this back, here they've written so you can read it through the perfume it says notes of black currant blue rose and ombre seed and that is definitely accurate that is what this smells like it has um quite a tart black currant opening note you really do feel like um you, you know you've got a punnet of fresh black currants but it's quite tart quite autumnal and then you get a lot of rose and then the ombre um which is kind of musky is is there but it's subtle really this is a tart black currant and a rose fragrance it doesn't have rhubarb in but it kind of reminds me of that kind of scent where you've got that tartness from the rhubarb or a tartness from the lychee so i think this does remind me a little bit of Delina from Parfum de Mali and Good Girl, um, Very Good Girl, the new red one from Carolina Herrera, which are rose and lychee fragrances. It's definitely of that same vibe, that same family, but it's much, much lighter. So the thing that um, kind of disappoints me about Tiffany's new fragrances is, you know, it says this is an eau de parfum, I would never have thought it was an eau de parfum. For me, this performs like an eau de toilette. It doesn't take long before it really is dried down and it's just very slight on the skin. I don't think the projection or lasting power, I don't think the projection or the lasting power is particularly good. And considering that these start at about 50 pounds and go all the way up to like 90 pounds, I want something that really lasts if I'm gonna pay that price. So personally, this and the other four in the range are not so key approved. I don't rate them and I don't recommend them. But one thing I do think they're good for is gifting. So if you have a, you know, a grandma or an auntie, you need to get them something which is classy. Perhaps they have a Tiffany bracelet or something, you know they like the brand. I think these are very safe gift because particularly the original Tiffany & Co Eau de Parfum and the sheer one, the intense one, they're so light and simple. I don't think anyone would hate them. You know, anyone could wear them. I don't think anyone would like, you know, love it and be like, oh my God, this changed my life. It's the best perfume ever, but they'd just be nice. And they do do some really pretty gift sets um, for Christmas, you know, all the Tiffany colors, really beautiful. So I think if you're looking for a gift for someone, if you're looking for a gift for someone and you're not really sure what perfume they like, 
this is a pretty safe buy because you could always wear it. And how this compares to the other three in the Tiffany & Co range, so the original Tiffany & Co Eau de Parfum was quite a citrusy opening and then it had a very classic iris middle note rosiness but to me it came across very citrusy very lemony quite sharp they then brought out an intense version of it which was better because it was stronger but it was still not in my view like really intense it wasn't really strong perfume and then they released sheer which had a like a green tea note in it very delicate um simple fragrance even more so than the original it didn't have the sheer one didn't have that citrusiness in it had the rose and the black currant like this but it was that um calm tea scent that really came across so um and with like a musky tea so quite good for someone who wants something very light um and simple perhaps for humid climates and now we've got this one which is a black currant rose so yeah i think afraid personally a little bit of a disappointment on this one but guys let me know have you tried it do you like it do you disagree with me do you like the others in the Tiffany & Co range let me know what you think I know that the Tiffany brand has just been bought out by LVMH a Louis Vuitton group that own huge amount of the brands in the world and they do have a track record of totally turning around a brand like i think they bought bulgari a few years ago and now bulgari bags are like it bags and you know the brand's really cool i love bulgari before that i never would have thought i just thought it was jewelry that i'd never be able to afford so they are very good at branding. So I'd be interested to see if the Tiffany vibe changes over the next few years and how that affects the fragrances. So watch out for that. But yeah, so that is it guys. Let me know what you think in the comments and I'll leave the links below to those gift sets and the fragrances in the description box. Um, but thank you so much for watching as always and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.